You guys, we have discovered one of the largest volcanoes in the solar system and it's right under our feet. Well, I mean, sorta, it's actually, it's, it's like over there. Hey everybody, I'm Trace. Thanks for tuning in to DNews today. If you followed science news at all last week, you probably heard that the second largest volcano in the whole solar system was discovered under our own Pacific Ocean. And if you're a curious bunch, then you probably wondered, what is the largest volcano in the solar system? We've got that and some other crazy volcanic stuff. Here on Earth, we measure mountains by their height above sea level. But in space, we rarely find seas, let alone know their average level. So extraterrestrial mountains are measured root to peak. Regardless of how you measure it though, the largest volcano or mountain we know to exist is Olympus Mons on Mars. This mountain is so large that if you plopped it here on Earth, it would cover the entire state of Arizona, dwarf Mount Everest, because it's almost three times its height, and standing at its peak, you would be a quarter of the way to space. It's 15 miles high, guys. It's got so large because Mars plate tectonics don't work like ours. Here on Earth, the crust shifts, moving volcanoes off hotspots and magma pipes where that molten lava seeps through. So they're only so tall before they're shifted away. Think of the islands of Hawaii, for example. On Mars, plate tectonics are so even by geologic standards. So Mons sat on a magma pipe and kept growing and growing and growing. I use the past tense because astrophysicists are pretty sure Mars' core is cold and all the magma has solidified. The largest volcano on planet Earth is now this new one, four miles under the Pacific Ocean, a thousand miles off of the coast of Japan, Tamu Massif. It's not very tall, but it covers the land area of New Mexico or the entire British Isles. It's nearly the size of Olympus Mons, so it's definitely in that class. And because of this discovery, scientists have to reevaluate how these giant volcanoes form. As it was previously thought, Earth wasn't able to push enough magma around to build something this large. Tamu Massif formed 130 to 145 million years ago out of a bunch of different lava flows and magma pipes, it seems. And it's extinct, so it's not going to erupt. You don't have to worry about that. The most volcanically active place in existence isn't on Mars or on Earth or even on one of the eight planets, actually. Actually, it's on one of Jupiter's moons, Io. Io is the fifth closest to Jupiter and its third largest moon. It's roughly the size of our own moon. The surface would probably be the closest thing to hell that you could get outside of fiction. Io is extremely volcanically active with plumes of volcanic activity shooting 190 miles into the atmosphere. Its orbit with Jupiter crosses two other moons, so gravity causes its surface to bulge in 300 foot waves releasing magma floodplains, which is probably molten sulfur, which is why it gets its yellow color and why Io would probably be real stinky. Aside from all of its volcanoes, its orbit also crosses Jupiter's magnetic field, creating 400,000 volts and 3 million amps of electricity across its surface. It's released as lightning in Jupiter's upper atmosphere. That makes Mons and Massif seem pretty tame, huh? You guys, this is just the beginning. We have only just scratched the surface. Volcanoes are fantastic pressure release valves, and who knows how many there are out there to discover, not just here on Earth, but in the whole universe. They are definitely one of my favorite natural disasters. They're powerful, they're crazy large. Do you have a favorite? Share it with us and we'll see you next time on DNews.